Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky 2021. Today we're in survival with live extras and boy have I got a beautiful fighter to share with you. Uh, this fighter was found by Lava Lamp and there she is. I think he found her on PS4 actually. She's sweet. She's got a single engine. She's got these uh, J wings or S wings, whatever they're called. I don't know. I look at them. I don't exactly see a letter. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> She's got the barrel nose and the soft cockpit. And she's a tier three fighter. And I love it. This poor little thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this ship or not. I might keep it. Maybe. I usually don't do anything with these extra ships of mine. It depends if I run out of space, but I don't think I will because that would mean I'd be still ship hunting. I need anything else. I always leave a little bit of launch fuel on my ships. I could just carry it in my inventory. That would make sense. But that's it. Three ships. I bought the green ship right there, which is now an S36 because I made it bigger. Uh, I bought the green ship as a second ship in case something happens and I forget to load my launch thrusters or something silly like that and I need a ship to come get me. And uh, then Lava said, well, um, I might be able to find this other ship that I've had. And um, what's in here? Um, nothing going on in there either. Let's see what we've got going on. Uh, stuff that we haven't uh, touched on yet. Uh, the frigate that we were given was an exploration ship and she will remain unused. I won't send out a single exploration ship on her own. Uh, let's see, upgrades. So we have the matter beam and the warp core resonator. Uh, warp core resonator um, is a uh, uh, FTL drive. It's 200 light years. That helps a little bit. Uh, we have nine salvage frigate modules and we are going to go in the direction of going to different um, uh, stellar groups first. And so we'll get amplified warp shielding. And I don't think that leaves enough. We need three for the next one. And then we'll need 12, I think it is, for the next one. Uh, yeah, 12. So that's on the agenda. And let's see what else we have going on in here. We do have a teleporter. That is good. The engines are super loud today. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, we have not picked a color. Um, I did think about um, some different ones. I've never really been a fan of black, although it does show um, decorations really well. And Yellow is okay. Uh, this light blue, I'll show it to you for a second, just looks like what it looks like because of space. <laughs> uh, this is a nice color blue. It shows up generally. I'll, I'll put it right there as well so you can see a larger amount of it. Maybe a combination of this uh, solid color and highlights of this uh, lighter color. We'll have to see. And of course, this is always an option. Red is a, really it's the best color in No Man's Sky. I mean, they did the best job with red. I think you know what Lava's voting for. <laughs> and I'll just back up and grab that one. There's the purple, but we did the um, we did the permadeath freighter in purple, so I don't think we're gonna go with that. Uh, let's see what we've got on us. We need suit slots. 
we need um, to get uh, modules to upgrade the um, new fighter with so that we can be safe. Uh, we, I think, are done with base computer archives. Uh, we can now do expanding the base. Um, and uh, that just comes up automatically, I think, when you finish base computer archives. And uh, let's see, what is it you want me to do? Expanding the base. And uh, we have a ton of milestones to achieve, not the least of which is meeting aliens, which is the easiest one, and learning words. We just have a few to go. Um, we'll be destroying ships. We're almost at level 10 there already. Um, Sentinel battles, extreme survival, um, space exploration is a passive milestone. It just happens. And uh, zoology is something that I always work on. You can see that I've already got eight planets done. Uh, on the new fighter, I already have a shield and possibly a photon cannon. Uh, usually the first thing that I buy is some kind of a weapon and uh, for the past for this uh, past few months I've been uh, really enjoying using the photon cannon so there is one photon cannon it's not great it's usable it's uh, plus six uh, plus six damage with a heat dispersion of three percent so not great but definitely useful uh, I do have the launch system recharger. It probably came with the ship and efficient thrusters. And I do have the indium drive, so we can go to any color star, but we can't go very far. Uh, 106 light years, so uh, two priorities there. Photon cannons and hyperdrives. Uh, these shields are enough. It's more than half um, strength there at 299. 275 is... 70 to 70, somewhere around there is uh, half string. Let's see uh, quickly where we are. We're in Eisentam. We're still at a million light years from the center. And let's see, where did I park the space station? <laughs> Uh, so we have uh, 300 Quicksilver. I think I've obviously I've spent some. Uh, and 110 million units. The more suit slots I have that I don't have filled up with garbage, uh, the more units I can carry. Because uh, what we have for uh, our passive income is um, uh, art uh, activated indium. Artificial indium. The fake stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a hyperdrive here. Uh, we do have pulse engines here as well. Uh, 7,300 nanites. It's not high on the list, and I don't want to spend the nanites before uh, I absolutely have to. This is probably not going to be good, but it will tell us what the seed for this character is. 212. So, medium low. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We are in a Viking system. And very quickly, we will look and see. Uh, we do have magnetic resonators, solar mirrors, and quantum computers, uh, so we do not need that. 309 emerald, 501 cadmium, tons and tons of ferrite. All right, good deal. So let's see if I can still get the suit slot again. <laughs> That's the thing about multiplayer. You don't know what bug you're going to get to take advantage of. <laughs> the next system will be probably quieter. After you warp, usually uh, whatever 
engine noise you're carrying around usually gets eliminated because it is a load screen so you're you're reloading the game into the next system uh, let's take these creature missions because they will be resolved by doing a derelict and uh, I believe we can do that uh, we have don't presently have a transmitter so let's go buy one just so that we've got that that job done we're just ticking off the boxes here oh I completely forgot to introduce myself to those people over there <laughs> the engine noise is pushing me away so we'll go ahead and buy that job done Oh, I didn't get congratulations for buying that music. <laughs> Howdy. I don't really have any real business here. Don't be offended. Ah, I haven't learned the Viking word for request. I think that, no, I don't think that was what the word was. <laughs> Oh, it was request. Trade, of course. Thanks. <laughs> uh, one thing that we are totally lacking uh, that I haven't even bothered with is uh, portal glyphs. And the funny reason why is because of multiplayer. Uh, it's very difficult to get portal glyphs while you're in multiplayer. Uh, you can do it, but it's not easy. Uh, Mary Lizzie and I have accomplished that together uh, on occasion. And uh, it's, it's definitely not easy. Um, but uh, Lava, who is... Uh, no, I don't want to talk to anybody about anything like that. Uh, Lava, who is my partner in this uh, save going forward, has all the portal glyphs. So at this point, he can portal somewhere, and I can just join him. I already met this guy. Oh, dear. Bye-bye. I've already met that guy. I've already met that guy. I've already met I don't mean to be racist or anything, but the Viking do look like each other here. And I already met this guy. Why it doesn't say visited, I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> now then, how much fuel do we have? The hyperdrive is full. We got all of that stuff lined up and ready to go, and it only took me 13 minutes to tell you about it. <laughs> awesome. There's another milestone. Emissary. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Now the uh, the line here is set to Galactic Core, and that is the direction we're gonna go. Uh, did I not install the economy scanner? Well, there's something I need to do. <laughs> We'll have to get that in this next station. And no freighter battle. I'm not terribly surprised. Um, I don't think that, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I don't think that freighter battles in multiplayer actually count uh, towards your uh, freighter battle every three hours. Um, and five warps. And I don't think they discount from it either because uh, I've come out of multiplayer where I had a freighter battle, uh, restarted my game to close out all of the multiplayer um, uh, things like position not saved and um, the color of my freighter, things like that, <laughs> and have immediately had a freighter battle. So it's Hi. What's up? 
brawl. You don't know brawl. Uh, not what I'm looking for. So we got another hyperdrive right there. And this one is 242. I'm just going to throw this out there that the next one's probably going to be really low. Uh, yeah. I didn't check the multi-tool in the last station because I'm pretty sure I did that when I got here. Got there. Howdy. <laughs> I can sit here and reload and reload and reload, but it's not necessary. Look at what just came in. Well, I'll be... Aren't you red? Be 35 and 10. It has the cockpit and the nose that I don't particularly like, but I will give you the glyphs. There they are in the lower right, uh, lower left corner. That is a really tough looking ship. I actually like it, but um, it's not my favorite kind of cockpit or nose. All right. We got the suit slot, right? Uh, my mission today is uh, undoubtedly um, getting this ship in working order and getting suit slots. Uh, yep. And uh, I'm always stacking missions. It's uh, the the issue with this save is that I haven't played it very much, which does not help at all. And uh, when we want to do something on the live show with our survival saves, well, the guy can, you know, survive on the ground, but uh, everything else is kind of, you know, uh, tough to do. Off we go. We can now go a bit further. Let's see here. Oh, let's uh, take care of this issue. Um, put it somewhere. Uh, any matter. No, microprocessors. I was looking at the wrong thing. I probably can't take this battle. There you are. think that that was a good choice. I probably wouldn't have done that in permadeath. <laughs> I need some microprocessors. And uh, having not started expanding the base, uh, I don't know how to make them. It's still the only way to learn them, is to meet the scientists. And, um, and that's a good thing. I mean, it's that if you want to learn how to make a microprocessor, then you need to take the time to start expanding the base at the very least. And uh, since you can trigger it, trigger it by, you know, normal play, uh, just getting through base computer archives, then there's really no reason not to do it. All right, at least we will find a more sensible place to put it. Uh, how about right there for now? All right, that is the economy scanner. The other thing is the matter beam, and it's not a terrible thing to put in. Um, it does help, uh, you know, but 
To be honest with you, I usually just walk over to my ship. <laughs> you are required to put it in uh, at one point. Uh, I think it's during the base computer archives. But uh, you can take it right out. There's no reason to leave it on a tiny little ship. All right, let's try this again. Look at how much farther we can go now. That's a possibility. That's out of range. Oops, what was that? Got a lot of Viking systems in front of us. I think that was a medium economy. Let's just go there. So this is absolutely my goal today. I might have to stop and uh, make some nanites. I'll do that by ship scrapping, no doubt. Uh, even scrapping C-class ship makes a few nanites. But I, I think it's better, it's more economical to not go lower than a B-class. Um, I try to stick with A-classes and S-classes just because the modules are worth more nanites and you are trading units for nanites and uh, so now I'm down to 102 I've spent uh, 8 million nanites today, I mean 8 million units today or maybe more I don't know I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> this is a medium economy but we still check the multi-tool And I don't know if you noticed it, but that extra engine sound is gone. Now, if I jump right into my ship and out again, uh, that will bring that engine sound back, that low roaring engine sound. And uh, once again, warping is the cure. There we go. I think I did have uh, one more uh, milestone left for meeting people. Oops, I missed it. He almost looks like he doesn't have a mouth. Dude. <laughs> Ooh, you're a scary fellow. <laughs> Thanks for the word today. <laughs> He's doing his happy dance. <laughs> this, uh, meeting uh, these people on space stations and trade posts is very useful because you can, you're killing two milestones with uh, one bird. <laughs> and um, so we're doing both uh, meeting aliens and learning words at the same time. Only 20, 20 words to finish this milestone and quite a few aliens left. If you then want to take that a step further, look at this. Gra, 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 death, 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 victory, gra, victory. <laughs> He's not the smartest cookie on the station, but I bet he can kick your butt. Uh, if you want to take this the next step further and uh, do the challenges of, uh, I already met this guy, um, of practicing language skills, uh, then that's up to you. Are you done with traffic yet? Okay. They all moved. Here's a gek. Howdy. Uh, you look like a priest. 
their aggression symbol is the word stupid. Let that be a lesson, kids. The word stupid is an aggressive word. <laughs> All right. Did we manage that? I think so. Oops. A divine atlas entity. Um, sort of mystery symbol. And we met that guy. All right. <laughs> what do we got down here? It's a C. That is a C15. There's a milestone. There's diplomat. And I don't think we're close enough to words learned to grab that one right now. Let's uh, jump on to the anomaly and uh, get paid for all that. Grab the suit slot, which I didn't do in the last two systems uh, because I didn't want to go on and off the anomaly constantly. any salvage data on me. There we go. Got lots and lots of missions built up uh, over here, the Nexus missions. We're about uh, maybe two-fifths the way through Tier 2. Something's on fire back there. <laughs> Flora data. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, he did not offer me a receiver. And that's because I haven't used the receiver yet that I bought. get some uh, milestone data and that is an extra 150 don't have any food for Kronos and finally we will grab a suit slot hey <laughs> I think I will go uh, grab some uh, activated indium and sell it and use that money to uh, scrap ships. Let's just grab a save here. And then uh, I might do some Nexus missions uh, while getting my suit slots and improving my ship. Uh, so I managed to get two hyperdrives, uh, installed the economy scanner and the teleport receiver. I think we can move that over there. Uh, we do need photon cannons. This needs to go away. That needs to go away. <laughs> and uh, killed five more pirates uh, with ships destroyed. Oh, I need to kill one more pirate. Uh, in order to max out ships destroyed as a milestone. Uh, very cool. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.